Hello viewers, in my last video you would have watched the letters A, B, C, D, E and F. Now let us look at the letters G, H and I today. Now if you look into this letter G, it is a little complicated for children because the letter G has two sounds G and J. When, will, when can we say G or when can we say J? Because G has two sounds, the hard sound and the soft sound. When can it be a hard sound? So the child when he is taught the rule that when the letter G is followed by A, O, U. You also I can remind you even in the, sa the same was applied when the child learned the letter C. So C rule and G rule almost goes hand in hand. But the child has to understand the concept very clearly because G when it is followed by A as in the word gate. G followed by O as in the word gold and G U as in the word gun. So let us understand it very clearly. So the rule very clearly if the child understands it very clearly nicely and easily. So he will be able to attack the word very easily because he knows the concept that the G will become a hard sound when it comes in contact with the vowels A, O and U. Now let us look into the other sound of G. G has soft sound J. Now when can it get a soft sound? Yes, we should understand the rule again. G followed by E, followed by I, followed by Y. As I told you in my previous uh, video, Y is a semi-vowel. So, it is also taken as a vowel family, part of the vowel family. So, E, I and Y. So, the G will become or G will get the sound J. So, G, E, M, Gem, G, I, N, G, E, R, Ginger and G, Y, M, Jim. So, there are many such words and children if they are taught the concept very easily. But there are some exceptions in this particular thing. So what are the exceptions? There are few exceptions which are not following the phonics approach and let us see the exceptions can be learnt as it is and the child will be able to understand as it is. So G I R L should have been jerl but when the con phonics as per the phonics approach but Unfortunately, G is I is here, it is getting the sound of G and so we call them call it as girl. So boys and girls. So it is not boys and girls. So this particular exceptions like girl, give, get, these are some of the exceptions, but these are very minor exceptions. But overall the phonics approach, what I am talking phonics approach to English is 99% helpful. So one or two exceptions the child can understand it very clearly and able to apply. So G is understood well with certain rules and exceptions. Now let us look into the letter H and H is the only consonant which has a sound where it comes from the stomach. H is H. H is H. Horse, house. I have seen many of the kids pronounce it as aus, pronounce it as om, which is wrong. So the child has to understand the concept that H must be pronounced in totality. So home, house, horse. So definitely if the child knows the correct pronunciation, he is able to express himself better. So definitely children will understand it very clearly. So let us look into the next letter I. I is again a vowel and it has two sounds, the short sound and the long sound. If you understand this very clearly, the short sound and the long I short sound and the long sound, definitely the child will be able to read better, speak better and write better. Now let us understand what is it all about. I is called a short sound when in the words such as igloo. I makes the sound I. So the child understands it as I and able to understand and correlate the letter I as I. As 
an igloo, as an insect, so the child can pronounce it very clearly. As I told you in my previous video, very clearly, I is having, I is having a quick sound uh, because it is a vowel, and vowels usually have the tendency of having a quick sound. So let us understand the long i sound. The long i sound is very clearly to be understood as i sound. The letter i also makes a sound i, and also letter i makes a sound i when there is a magic e at the end of the word. In my previous video, I have told you the magic e rule importance. Very important thing the child has to understand is what the child hears. Many a times he will not be writing. Sometimes. He will be writing, but when he is hearing, it is totally different. So, as in words like kite, when I say the word kite, it is a four-letter word, and he has to write it as a four-letter word. He sees four letters, he writes four letters, but when he is hearing, he hears it as only three-letter sounds. Kite. The magic key plays a very important and significant role in English. So what happens is the child should understand the concept before where because he is able to read better and write better. So I thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to meet you again soon. Thank you very much.